hello and welcome Leo apologies for being late with your reading this month um, I've been struck down in the prime of lime as they would say in friends um, a bit of a sore throat bit of a cold nothing major nothing to worry about just a bit of a sniffle um, sometimes you know your body um, demands of you that you take some time to rest I have my drink here if my throat does get a little bit sore so oh, please do excuse me if I take a sip from that during the course of this reading just to wet my throat to keep it lubricated um, I had a Netflix day yesterday uh, didn't do anything I sat and watched enter the dragon and just really gave my body the chance to rest and recover um, this is you here we go Leo you are the hanged man in September everything you need to know about this reading is in the description um, why are you stuck what are you trying to see differently let's get a few more cards on the table and we'll get into this um, I usually have loads of stuff I want to say to you and when the cards start dropping out I know that's my cue to shut up <laughs> and get on with your reading so crossing you in September is the knave or the page in this deck the page of cups are we waiting for an apology are we coming around to the conclusion that there's something we need to apologize about Leo what caused all of this what's going on what's at the root of the situation the knave or the page of pentacles okay recent past la luna the moon okay yeah that something's not been forthcoming and it still persists will we will explore i will clarify all of these what's on your mind the hermit look at this the moon the hanged man the hermit you've gone very very quiet leo and honestly leo it's not you this seems to be for september across the board here now we are in virgo season now so it could be that you're just very much embracing the energies of the moment what lies ahead the three of wands okay so things are things will start moving things will start happening a little bit of fire coming into your read here now which i like suggested approach the king of swords wow ruthless okay what do you need to know leo the hierophant hopes and fears the ace of pentacles and the potential outcome for september at least beautiful is the lovers the lovers gemini energy okay let me pull all of these energies together and i give you a little summary of what's on the table here okay let me just shift the camera so you can see these a little bit better that's better okay so we have an ace we have two threes a five a six and two nines so dominant numbers here are three and nine which means we're growing we're working on something we're creating something and it looks as though we're closing something out here so this is something that we've worked on putting together that is now coming to a close here the signs that we have on the table here for you today, Leo, are Virgo. Pisces is here very strongly because we have the major arcana, the hanged man here. And Pisces energy is the moon card here. But I'm also going to bring in the energy of Cancer here for you. Um, because we cannot ignore the fact that the moon is the astrological body of the sign Cancer we've also got gemini i did mention gemini and aries is on the table here as well planetarily the sun venus neptune twice and mercury twice so perhaps we are in a quite kind of we and, and it's coming across as well in a in kind of a dreamy place right now either we're resting we're sleeping a lot and having a lot of quite vivid dreams you know when we go through those phases in life where our dreams seem to be exceptionally vivid or you wake up and you're almost exhausted because you were doing so much in your sleep it seems that 
Um, I'm going through a phase right now where my dreams are just so vivid. I'm having these epic, long narratives of dreams with storylines and, and soundtracks and like really, really vivid, insane dreams. Um, I think a lot of people are right now. It could be that there's something going on in your dreams that the cards would like you to pay attention to here. Um, we've got a all the all the elements are here on the table there's you know there's a lot of earth here but you know there's nothing noteworthily absent here so i'm not too concerned about that um you in september here the hanged man uh, sorry <laughs> sniffing um i think i always get throat problems when i get a little bit of a cold because i talk too much because i'm a gemini so it's uh, my own fault the Hanged Man, Neptune, Pisces. You're, you're stuck. You're stuck. Have you put yourself there? Is there an energy here of having to sacrifice yourself in some way? Um, <clears throat> are you pulling away from somebody else's energy? Have you put yourself in a timeout of sorts? Are you trying to get some kind of enlightenment, a new kind of perspective on something that's going on? It would look as though what's crossing you is the energy of an apology i'll get into oh here we go that's what we want so the two of ones so what we're stuck here is is being decisive is making a decision being kind of bold and decisive in possibly matters of love um it looks as though there's some kind of plan or dream possibly more likely a dream of the future here that you're not pursuing in a particularly aggressive or forceful kind of way. You are losing your sense of control of your external circumstances. And it's to do with the energy of an apology. And that doesn't necessarily mean somebody has to come towards you cap in hand, apologizing profusely. But somebody's done somebody wrong here. Somebody's let somebody down in some way. And it looks as though... There was a plan for the future, a dream that was held in your hand here, and it feels as though you are not able to proceed with a plan that you made with somebody. And I'm not sure, it looks as though it's not necessarily in your hands, like it's not necessarily your fault, and you're hoping that somebody else can come in and fix this in some way, kind of repair the damage that they've done in some way, um, certainly apologize. Now, of course, if you're familiar with my reads, if you're familiar with any reading on YouTube, these general readings, the energies can always be flipped. So it could very much be that this is the other way around, especially if you're cross-watching for a Leo. But let's see why the Page of Cups is here, please. The Six of Pentacles. Ah, okay. Now, now we're, now we're getting into it. Right. Somebody's not been pulling their weight. Somebody has not fulfilled their side of the bargain here somebody did not do their part it looks as though tasks were equally and fairly delegated distributed between parties whether that be you and somebody else or groups of people but one party here has absolutely not fulfilled their side of the bargain and it's left you stuck it could be that it's you that did not fulfill your side of the bargain although i'm not necessarily being pulled that way i feel more that you have done your part but now you are stuck because somebody else didn't do their part and you would like them to come to you not and this is why i'm not really seeing you wanting them to literally say the words i'm sorry you actually want them to do something about it the apology in this instance leo needs to come with some action okay well if you are genuinely sorry that you didn't pull your weight that you didn't play your part then can you do something about that please can you do your part can you do you know can you follow through on the promises that you made here what lies at the root of this situation is an idea um, sowing the seed, the beginnings of this idea, the beginnings of the plans that were being made here. Um, it looks as though you sat down as a group or together with this 
single other person, however which way around it is, whomever it is you're trying to work together with here, you sat down and you and you discussed this openly and with a degree of excitement and um, hope for the possibility that this would create for you. Why is this here, please? Yeah, it, this was this was a really exciting plan that you had with this person. Now, you know, these September reads, it is only for a month. This could be as simple as planning um, a weekend away with some friends or a day trip somewhere and the other person's maybe not paid the deposit their half of the deposit or you know promised that they would come up with the goods at some point or or they haven't booked the time off work or or it could be something much bigger and it will be one way for some and one way for another for others it could be you know you you had arranged to take a significant step in a connection and this other person is now coming up with a bunch of excuses but whatever the plan was you made a plan with somebody here and it you know you you sp spoke about it together excitedly you made those plans together and now it's come to the point where somebody has to actually put some action in i feel you've done your part the other party has not done their part and now you are frustratingly stuck because the point of this was that you did it together what lies in the recent past here is the moon and you being kept in the dark and it could very much be that you were not aware as you were merrily skipping along, playing your part, doing your bit, fulfilling your side of this bargain, following through on the promises that you had made, that this person was not and you were not aware of it. You perhaps assumed they'd paid the deposit or, or whatever. You assumed that they were doing their part, but you were very much kept in the dark about the amount of effort this person was not putting in. Let's clarify the moon here, please. Yeah, the tower. Okay, so this person was on the side, almost secretively, certainly not communicating this with you. Things were going horribly, horribly wrong for this person, but they were not telling you. They were not reaching out for help. They were not speaking up and explaining to you, look, I, I'm not sure if I, I'm going to be able to follow through on what I promised. I, I'm, it's not really working out. I'm not sure if I can do it. Um, this is somebody reneging on a promise, but it looks as though they did try. But whatever pitfalls they fell in, whatever obstacles they encountered, they did not come to you and openly and honestly express, hey, I I'm struggling. I don't think I'm going to be able to fulfill the obligation or the promise that I made you here, Leo. They just didn't tell you. And now it's come to this point. It's come to light. And it's like, are you kidding? You could have said something. Maybe I could have helped you. Or maybe I could. You're trying to be understanding. You're trying to see things from this person's point of view. But I'm getting a lot of frustration here. Perhaps if they'd come to you much sooner and expressed the struggles that they were encountering, you could have picked up the slack for them. You could have helped them. You could have supported them in some way, but that did not happen. And that's um, obviously incredibly, incredibly frustrating. On your mind is the hermit here. Now you're refusing to get involved. Now you're not taking action you're reflecting you're retreating you're keeping yourself to yourself perhaps even soul searching searching for a truth of some kind absolutely pulled back isolated perhaps a little bit sulky let's see what goes with this hermit to see exactly what that energy eight of cups okay yeah yeah you you you, you are very much considering or are in the process now of, of just turning your back and saying, you know, I put a lot of work and a lot of effort into this. I worked very hard to fulfill my side of this and you've, you've just, you've not fulfilled your side of this. And, you know, I think I have to cut my losses now. Um, I, I don't really want to do this anymore. This is very much the energy of I'm not interested, don't want to do it leave it alone this is not i don't want this anymore this is no longer necessary it was a bad choice i'm cutting my losses this is no longer emotionally fulfilling i wasted my time 
I've absolutely wasted my time and my effort and my investment here. Um, I have nothing else to say. I have nothing else to say. Which is... Whether you act upon that or not, remember this is in your mind. These are your thoughts position here. This has certainly left you extremely disappointed and extremely frustrated. Okay, moving forward though, I'm seeing we're moving again. Now we're building bridges. This is a card of, it's the Three of Wands, it's the Sun in Aries, it's a card of expansion, travel perhaps for some of you, I know. Travel is certainly an issue for a lot of us right now in 2020 with a lot of the, the lockdown and restrictions and things that are going on. But it's a card of enterprise, trade, discovery, laying foundations, building bridges. It's also a sense of uh, a card that carries with it a sense of certainty, seeing, knowing, confidence. It's your ships coming in. It's almost like once you've kind of moved past the, the frustration and the disappointment here, it's like you're pulling up your socks here, Leo, and saying, fine, I'll do this myself. I don't need anybody's dead weight. Um, if you're not going to do your part, I, I, I can go ahead and, and I can make plans for my own future um, without you, essentially. Why is this here, please? The Three of Pentacles on the Three of Wands. Wow. Okay. Again, more threes energy, growth, collaboration, creativity, creation. It's also the energy of friendships um, and again, expansion, development, improving that kind of energy. The three of pentacles is Mars and Capricorn. Very much speaking of playing that long game, that future thinking, the building and the planning and the working together, collaboration and teamwork. Perhaps you'll find somebody else who is more reliable here to support you and assist you on this journey. Perhaps you're, if you're a boss, perhaps you're hiring somebody new. If, if this was a romantic connection, perhaps you found a third party. Perhaps you found somebody else. There is somebody else here that seems to be more than happy to work with you. And it looks as though that's the direction that you're going here. Your suggested approach is to be ruthless, cut this out, put your emotions to one side, just like the King of Swords would do. Be cold, ruthless, stand firm in your truth, take a moral stand and take some decisive action that's based on integrity and truth. It's absolutely a rejection of laziness and cheating. Let's see why this is here. Temperance. Yeah, becoming stronger. You need somebody who's going to step up to the plate here. Whatever it is you're trying to achieve, um, it looks as though this person has been rather flaky, to be quite honest. Um, <clears throat> you know, when it comes to the discussion, sorry, let me just have a little drink. My throat's getting a bit sore again. Oh, it's the bane of the Gemini. Oh, too much talking. <laughs> Yeah, they were, and it looks like, you know, when you sat down and had this discussion with them, they were all for it. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. And it was very kind of enthused and um, goal orientated. But when it actually came to putting in the hard work, not so much. What you would like here is somebody who can essentially follow through on their promises. Somebody who's not going to waste your time. Somebody who's not going to hang back and hope that you will just carry them and do all the work. Somebody who's not going to ride on your coattails. The Temperance card is a card of Sagittarius, Jupiter and Mutable Fire. It's also a card of uh, um, finding peace, finding balance, but it's also tempering a weapon, becoming stronger, becoming stronger. And this is very much essentially saying, you know, if if you've been dealing with laziness and cheating from somebody then just there there's there's it's like there are plenty of people in the world that would be more than happy to embrace this wonderful opportunity here that was presented if this person doesn't want it there are many many others that would what you need to know is the Hierophant. What you need to know is that there is potentially somebody here that is prepared to commit to this. 
whatever this is and again this could this could very much be um, a work and career kind of setting this could be a learning kind of um, university college course um, kind of setting um, this could be a romantic connection this could be a friendship this could be a family member however it resonates for you please do let me know you know which way around this one's working for you Leo because I tap into very overt love connections so often it's kind of nice when when i see that that's not necessarily the case on the table today um because every single reading can't be about love um i know for some of you this will absolutely be about love so apologies for those of you but essentially that it was kind of what i was saying here that you know there are plenty of people that would snap your hand off for this opportunity here that's being presented here people that would be committed to it people that would put the work in people that essentially do want this that would see the value in what it is you're offering here and would not be wasting your time the five of cups okay <laughs> wow leo so it looks as though you will be moving on with essentially somebody who can work hard somebody that can deliver the goods somebody that can write checks that they absolutely intend to cash somebody who will pull their weight somebody who will not be wasting your time and expecting you to carry them but when you do that it looks to me as though that will be the moment that the apology comes in a little bit too late too little too late i would suggest of course that's entirely up to you I, I'm seeing so much collaboration and moving forward and, and finding somebody committed and finding somebody stronger, somebody who's able to step up here. Um, I cannot see why on earth you would go back to, to this person here that has so wasted your time. Wasted your time is coming up over and over. That has to be, I have to fit that into the title of this reading for you somehow leo because that seems to be the dominant thing you feel like somebody wasted your time and you're annoyed rightly so you're annoyed because they made promises um so here they come possibly apologizing possibly maybe not actually saying the words but just looking from a distance and feeling rather um self-pitying feeling rather sorry for themselves because now they can see the opportunity that they've missed out on now they can see this opportunity is no longer theirs it's now somebody else's filled with regret your hopes and fears now your hope is that you can keep this going that this idea can become a reality this dream that you had can become can be manifested into something new it's very much a hope the opportunity to make this tangible now to make this real um to perhaps earn a lot of money by doing so why is this here please strength yeah you, it, it's quite simple that you hope you, that you will have the strength to keep up keep up the momentum to get it off the ground you looks like you've had a little bit of a setback here but moving forward you know very much the strength card of course leo is your card it's the sun it's your modality of fixed fire it's strength from source because it's required but also because you have it it's um protection and generosity and inner calm and character uh, strength of character sorry like that inner calm strength of character kind of thing going on that leos generally do have um can i sit in my power and follow this through and make this happen essentially your potential outcome here I'm seeing this on this occasion, and I very rarely see the lovers as a card of choices. I know many readers will see it as a card of choices. I believe as a reader that there are so many cards in tarot that are cards of choices, that the lovers has to be a card of being in love because it's the lovers. But it could be that you're in love with the project. This is a passion project. The Ace of Wands would absolutely suggest that this is a passion project for you in some way. But there could be a moral dilemma here. It could be that this person who was initially in on this wants back in. 
could be that that's a decision that now you will have to make. It could be that you started this with a friend and it's it's as we can see not really happened and so it could be that we are now in this quandary where you know do we remain loyal to this person even though they did not step up to the plate purely because they are a friend because we have an emotional connection with them in some way um it's kind of like um more more of a moral dilemma and less so much of a choice it's more like suggesting that you don't want to be making any decisions based on fear or worry and especially guilt or shame if you feel guilty or ashamed about kicking this person to the curb but you know they are a family member or they are a friend or so, so you've got that sense of loyalty attached to them possibly that that is a bit of a moral dilemma do you do you let them do you give them another chance if this was a work colleague, you probably would not give them another chance. But I do feel this person is connected to you on a deeper level. Like I said, friends, family, perhaps even a romantic partner. Um, let's have a look where this moral dilemma is going to take you. Okay, so you're going to be demanding respect. You're going to be um, demanding that your authority is recognized. This is the energy of the emperor. Aries, Mars, Cardinal, Fire. It's an alpha male kind of energy. Whatever decision you make, how, whichever way you go, because of this moral dilemma that is presented, um, you will be firm but fair. You want to get things done. Um, you will expect, you know, this is like almost the ultimatum, like, look, it's either saying, no, you, you failed me, I cannot let you back in, you're not reliable enough. Or it's essentially saying, look, this is your last chance. This is absolutely your last chance. Um, if you let me down, um, you're out. If you're too slow, you're out. Um, we're getting this done. This is happening. I am going to make this happen. And I cannot allow you to hold me back, to drag me back any longer. This is a passion project. This is something that means a lot to you and you will not be allowing anybody to hold you back on this any longer. This is something you absolutely have to do. You will be doing. So good luck, Leo. Um, I love the power. I love the strength. Please do let me know what on earth I've just read for because I've got no idea what's going on. You know, I just read the cards as they come out and, and I know when I'm reading for a general collective, there will be so many stories that come out of this reading and I would love to read those in the comments section if you feel comfortable enough sharing. I'll be back in just over a week's time with both sides of the story. So for any of you that did come here today looking for love and that's not really come through for you, don't worry, we will be having a look at um, a connection, a significant connection with somebody else next week. So please do hit the subscribe button. Know that I love you lots and do take care of yourself and each other.